welcome everybody here in Twitch and also on YouTube in the future for another Angel deck. We have Naya Angels now. So this is a, a new version of Angels that I haven't tried yet. And uh, so this one and Abzan up next are going to be two that I haven't tried yet. Uh, so basically the, the main draw to playing um, Naya here, besides having the nice base of the Explorer creatures, which we know how good those are, so you have like that that floor with the deck. We have Rhythm of the Wild. And uh, Angel decks, just kind of in general, we know that they're already good against aggro decks. And even though Rhythm's not good against aggro, I think we're going to be fine against the aggro decks with our Angels and also with Wild Growth Walker. So I think we're going to be fine there. But Rhythm really helps out against control decks, which is where we would normally struggle. Uh, we can make sure that none of these Angels that are kind of expensive, they can't get countered, which is awesome. And give them haste so they do something right away. Uh, so yeah, so I'm pretty excited to try out Rhythm uh, with this. And also even just a card like Shalai that's like a 3-4 that gets Lava Coiled a bunch. It doesn't have like the best uh, stats for a 4-mana creature. Making it a 4-5 with the help of Rhythm of the Wild is pretty big game. And uh, so maybe just kind of in general we can help out even against a card like Find Finality with the Rhythm of the Wild. So it'll be pretty interesting to try. Uh, sideboard, we got even more stuff against aggro with Deafening Clarion, Knight of Autumn, Gaining Life. Uh, Spyglass is basically for the Teferi decks. And same with like Cinder Vines against like Bant Nexus, uh, which, which would still be kind of a tough matchup for us. Just have to have a lot of Disenchant effects. So we have uh, Knight of Autumn and Cinder Vines there. Um, Ixalan's Binding is more removal against like Izzet Drakes. We're going to need more removal for the Flyers. So that's what we have there. Settle uh, can be something against Golgari. Uh, not something I want like a ton of, but like the first Settle, we could we could get like some Carnage Tyrants and stuff. And an extra Vivian, because that card's great. So Naya Angels, the next flavor. Let's try it out. Yeah, basically all these decks, I like playing 26 lands. Um, I really want to hit, like, you got to hit your land drops and get to uh, five mana basically every game. And and it's, you know, stumbling with the land drops is, like, the biggest way to lose games with these decks. Yeah, and Aurelia, right, I, that was the other thing I didn't mention was Aurelia and Rhythm of the Wild is really nice where you get to, uh, you get to have, like, a haste Aurelia. They can already go go through and mentor something else, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's our main game plan. Curve out, go face. Yep. So it looks like nexus already let's go ahead and just play the rhythm of the wild get that down and start attacking gonna go with jade light next turn <laughs> certainly glad we have a lot of disenchant effects in our sideboard Two. Ugh, just being a 2-1. Not really what we want. Against Dawn of Hope. Sideboard, I have a lot of things with Nexus with basically just disenchant effects. I have a lot of disenchant effects. The Cinder Vines help out in this matchup also. Um, main board, we only have a couple of Vivians as far as disenchanters go. I got a message that my mic is a little hot, hearing a little bit of a distortion. Is that something that, that y'all are picking up on at all? Is that, is that something that other people are picking up on? Yeah, 
haste. No, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, this is the Decemberists with uh, sons and daughters. I'm known for my excellent timing. We need okay, to you hear a little bit of that distortion too? Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know exactly what to do there with that. Uh, but we'll just kinda kinda fight through it, I suppose. Um They gotta have like a fog effect, right? I guess they could cast absorb there just to gain the life. I should probably just attack them for 8, right? They're at 8. Seems like a reasonable plan of action. You know what? I'm not done yet. This is where we need the Arch of Araska for a land, and not these other lands. Yeah, right? How can these flyers be rooted? That's a good question. Won't they just, like, fly over these roots? No time for a break. All right, not looking good. It's kind of hard just to concede right now when we have like haste creatures. We need to move quickly. No, I'll just pick it up. Alright, and this is what we have our sideboard for. Cinder Vines, Vivian, Binding, 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 Night, 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 Spyglass, Spyglass. Let's get all that stuff in. Coil can come on out. Um, and then we don't need all of these creatures. Which creatures do we not need the most? Wild Growth Walker. I like how Wild Growth Walker, we get to play it on turn two. We need Wild Growth and Angel of Grace. And a Dawnbringer. I don't really need to like hold up m mana, like instant speed mana in this matchup. I think I can kind of just tap out. It's not like I need to like hold up mana. You know, I don't have like counter magic to work with like this Angel of Grace kind of thing. Yeah, Shalai is great against Settle. Keeping Shalai in, of course. Um, honestly, maybe. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't be bringing in the bindings. With, we saw them at Cleansing Nova. They could just like destroy all artifacts and enchantments, kind of thing. Yeah, honestly, I, I kind of regret bringing in the bindings. Kind of wish I would have kept in a couple more creatures, but we'll see how it goes. I haven't really. Dis I like both Mardu and Esper for the Angel decks. I don't. I don't really know which one I necessarily like more. Um, Mardu is better against aggro, while Esper is better against control. Alright. 
still just gonna name Teferi. And I'll just have Night of Autumn destroy the, the Dawn of Hope. Why isn't Shalai in Mardu? Because it's not it's not strong enough. It's not strong enough of a card to just be three like four mana, three, four give other creatures and whatever hex proof is honestly not strong enough of a card in my opinion there's there's nothing that i would want to take out of the deck for it it's certainly not only good for token decks it's certainly it's certainly a fine card when you can activate it but not being able to act have the activated ability like when you don't when you don't have green for the activated ability I don't think it's strong enough. It protects against settle, but with Mardu, you ha you also have hand disruption for sell the wreckage. It's, it's not like a it's not like a reason just to put the card in the deck. Alright, so they still have a lot of cards. Hmm. They they can't have settled the wreckage, they only have one white source up. So it's kinda so you know, we might as well pressure them. Because I like them casting Root Snare more than uh, more than Chemister's Insight that turn. And we did see Cleansing Nova from them before, so I'm not going to extend another creature out there. I chose Teferi with Spyglass. So just, just playing that right away in case they were planning on root snaring again. Uh, I mean, they could just cast the root snare in response, of course, but... I wonder if I should have just played Knight of Autumn as a 4-3 with having the Cinder Vines on the battlefield. Let's slow this down. Yeah, Day Off was pretty good. Keep up um, the pace. Yeah, it was basically yeah. That's that's what I did. What you would have done. I just had a, like a hibernate day, you know, just a, a day to recharge. Uh, played a good amount of, amount of Zelda. Uh, yeah, I just kind of had a had a hibernate day. Certainly looks like settle. But we have we have backups here. So forcing them to have it. Because they could have just been chemistry's inciting there with that with that mana as well. <laughs> yep, gotta get that breath of the wild time in.
if only I could find someone to take my kids for 24 hours, I'd love to have a day off. So yeah, the Cinder Vine should help us get that last six points in, but of course they can tuck it with the Teferi at any time. Alright, still drawing. Because tucking the Cinder Vines right here is, you know, they, they, they certainly have a lot of incentive to do that anyway. Um, from just, yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't if they had that Cleansing Nova. So, like, Vivian Tick Up couldn't, you know, couldn't grab it. Oh, wow, you got Breath of the Wild for Christmas and you haven't had a chance to play it yet? It is incredible. <laughs> I didn't live through hell to lose to you. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Well, we got a lot of lands at the bottom of our library now. And let's just play this knight as a 4-3. Do you think there's room for a Dovin or two in a Sultai Tokens deck? Well, Dovin costs white mana. Sultai doesn't have white mana. That's a problem. Okay, in a Bant Tokens deck. Yeah, we played against a Bant Tokens deck earlier, and they were playing a couple Dovins. At least they had Dovin two of the games. So, yeah, I could certainly see that being worth it. much more malleable than people think. Is Esper Angels viable for best of one? Man, I... I'm not sure. Just kind of be speculating. You know I don't... I'm not done I don't really play the best of one format, but... I... Th I think... I think it maybe could be. I think you'd want maybe more, like... Negate, Thought Erasure, Duress kind of stuff early. More, You probably want like th at least three Kaya's Rats. But I mean, it honestly could be. You don't get how people can have fun playing our opponent's deck. They just like taking game actions. You know, like they're the one <clears throat> casting lots of spells all the time. And they enjoy that. No one knows the wilds like I do. Hmm. Yeah, Shalai would have been good. You're right, that's that's the card we would have wanted. I don't think I just play a real, you know, like, this could certainly be Settle, yeah. But they're just being like a Settle or a Fog. Yeah, July would have been the card. Maybe I need a third July in the deck. No time for a break. I think that was one of my very last cuts. You know, getting it down to 60 was the third copy of July. You don't see Cleansing Nova all the time in these decks. The Cleansing Novas have been really, really good. And Settles. Like, our opponents had just, like, one Fog... And then, you know, multiple sweepers. Let's skip to the Three sweepers point. and one fog. Usually see a little more fogs to sweepers. 
the sweepers have been incredible. Really, the big thing, other the other big thing was them having that Knight of Autumn. That Knight of Autumn destroying my Spy Glass on Teferi was pretty crucial. We're still forcing them to find another answer here, though. They're going to have to find a fog or a, a settle or something like that. All right, they have a cleansing nova. Which we have... We have some looks at, at a creature here. Not only are draw step, but Vivian tick up. Hmm. You can't stop nature. All right, not counterable. They have to have exactly fog. They have to have exactly root snare. Anything else, they're dead. Question is, why do you earn so little golds daily in arena? I try to play the game for free with not buying anything, but it takes like a week to get enough gold for a draft. Yeah, I mean, it, if it was easier to, you know, make a lot of, you know, do like free drafts and stuff, then people wouldn't really need to spend money. It's still every other like form of magic has cost a lot more than arena has there hasn't really been free options before All right going to game three Yeah, I'm I'm just taking out these bindings they have cleansing Nova and uh, Night of Autumn. I'm not certain those things are going to help too much. So if we have maybe some wild growth walkers or just other angels. Wild growth walkers are cheaper. You know, mana cost wise. We'll have like that that one wild growth walker life. I would, I'm just taking out Ixalan's binding. So we're just talking about like they're playing a lot of cleansing novas and they have Knight of Autumns. I don't want to just I don't want to Ixalan's binding their Teferi. They destroy it. They get their Teferi back. I, and I don't want to be sitting like with my opening hand of like two Ixalan's binding kind of thing. Also, so it is out of here. This looks like a, a whole lot like our first hand. Not, not in like, I'm not really in love with this hand. All right, I like it a lot more now. That's a lot better. Abzan is black, white, and green. Um. Punk Boy RD with a sub for the third month in a row. I have a playset of everything that isn't Resplendent Angel. If you had to suggest three non Soul Tide decks, what would they be for F and M? Um, either Teamer Gates or Teamer Gates or Four Color ga Four Color Gates. Gate sounds pretty good. Um, I 
That's our fifth sub also, so we're going to have pack time after this. Um, yeah, you can go with, like, Naya value or Bant value. All right, good. I, I wanted, I'd rather Rhythm die than Spyglass die, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So I want Spyglass to shut down Teferi. I don't like that we didn't draw, that we can't really play anything. I don't really like that. Oh, I should just attack for one. I should trade one damage for two. I should attack there. Pack time emote. Oh yeah, I guess I already had that pack opening. Yeah. So I don't want to play Rhythm of the Wild because I feel like if I if I play Rhythm of the Wild, they just cleansing Nova away the artifacts and enchantments. And I don't really want that. And I don't want to just waste my Night of Autumn either. There we go. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think you need land war off with this deck. It's hard. It's really hard to fit it in, honestly. All right, good. Now that they can cleansing Nova away the creatures. That's better for me. You think this game's already lost? I think we're doing just fine. As long as we have Spyglass for Teferi in play, we're doing fine. Once they kill the Spyglass, then I'm worried. Alright, I'm playing Vivian here. Let's tear this place apart. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Shall I? We can maybe like surprise our, our opponent with like a haste creature with just like Rhythm of the Wild plus, you know, creature. Well, I expect my opponent has more answers to creatures than than the artifacts and enchantments, but honestly, the Spyglass is more valuable to me than Jade Light or Wild Growth Walker, like than both of these combined. Stopping Teferi is is more valuable than having creatures uh, having these two creatures when, when we have a, you know we have a in excess of creatures you know we have a lot more creatures in our hand Vivian gets more creatures getting creatures is not difficult that that's not good for us wow that is good for us come to me Taking the land. Because of uh, 
Um, <clears throat> because, like, because of rhythm, uh, I certainly want another land the next turn. Last RPTQ this weekend, Pro Tour on the line, what deck do you play? The wilds I would, are my shield. I'd probably play Mardu Angels or, or Esper Angels. And probably Esper if it maybe needs some more tuning. But I'm feeling, feeling good about both those decks. I mean, these are, I would probably just, you know, play a bunch of these Angels decks like I'm doing here and kind of see which one I like the most. Which one can beat Control? Like, and which one has the best, basically which one has the best Golgari matchup? I guess that's, that's the thing, Soul Time matchup. Whichever one of these has the best Soul Time matchup. That's what you have to figure out. Two, three, four. So three and four is my mana. I shouldn't just play Rhythm. Actually, I, I think I should just play Dawnbringer there. Sorry, I was kind of thinking about the answer to the question. Um, yeah, I think I should play Dawnbringer, because if they, if they destroy all artifacts and enchantments, it's a big bummer. But So, like, we're going to have Vivian Emblem next turn. And so Vivian Emblem with Rhythm in play is basically impossible for them to beat. They cannot settle right now with Shalai in play. Alright, so they're dead. Okay. Rhythm, Spyglass, Knight of Autumn. Oh, I thought that was their I thought that was their end step, not not my end step. No. Never mind, they're not dead. They need double cleansing Nova. Or cl That's a great, great start for us. Oh, that's right. They had an extra turn. That's why they had an extra turn. I guess they can just get some fog effects. You're not walking out of here for a little while. Alright, there's a fog effect. Not really a reason for me to play a creature here. Two, three, four, five. So I'm just gonna activate this Arch of Araska, Which I, I think I should have done before passing, because I could get Cinder Vines that deal damage. No, then the Cinder Vines just die. Yeah, so they're extra extra Nexus turn. Forgot about that. Before. Yeah, so I I didn't cast anything, so I was just gonna activate this Arch of Araska. Alright. Well turning off turning off the fairy. Great way to win. Haha, <laughs> their next turn. Woo! Oh, pack time. Pack time, pack time. Cancel. All right, which pack are we getting? We're not getting Ravnica Allegiance or Guilds of Ravnica because they got like those sets. So we're on these other ones. Let's go with go with a uh, Dominaria for. Let's go with Dominaria. What do we get? Ooh, one of my favorite cards in the set. I only had three before, so that's our fourth. Y'all know how much I love Kamal's Druidic Vow, how much I played that card. 
Certainly really sad that Ravnica Allegiance doesn't have more legendary creatures in it for a legend deck. No, I only had three, because I, I just played three in all those decks. So I didn't actually have the fourth. Maybe our opponent's... Maybe Lava Coil is good against our opponent. Heck yeah, we need some more Legend decks. Um, especially the... The green Legend decks really didn't gain very much. Watery Grave. Lava Coil is not usually good against Watery Grave. Yep, this couldn't go any worse for us. Our Rhythm of the Wild's gone. We have like three dead cards in hand. This could not go any worse. This should probably just be a ritual of set this turn. Yeah, we are on a we are on a mold of four. We just have three cards that have no text on them. So yeah, we, we are playing on a mold of four here. And then our, our best best card gets thought seized away. Uh. Hey, okay. At least um At least we can coil whatever card they get back with Elder Born. So that's good. Now as far as I know, Stream Decker is working. I had the link right underneath that cable. Could be working. All right, which lava coil you want? All right, can we draw? Can we draw Vivian Reed? Vivian Reed. You need to kill that search for Escanta. That's why. Uh, it's probably too late. Ooh, they didn't flip it. I have one more chance. All right, Vivian Reed, kill this as Kanta. Uh, we're dead. Well, our two worst cards in this matchup are like Wild Growth Walker and Lava Coil. And we've drawn three Wild Growth Walkers and three Lava Coils. I'm getting Esper Angels up on YouTube right now. Thirty-one.
Go, Lyra, go. You can do it, Lyra. We believe. You can do it. Lyric, Lyra can do it. Well, I mean, if, if Coil was other cards, we would have been playing those other cards instead of just sitting there with the Coils in our hand. So I wouldn't say they were as good as other card, you know, other random cards. Uh oh, really? Uh. Um, in this deck, we have two Angel of Grace, not three, and we have two, or we have, we have three Lyras, two Angel of Grace. It doesn't seem like our opponent has an answer to Lyra right now. Or like, you know, they're digging, at least. They didn't find anything. Wow. We did it. We really did it. All right, binding. Vivian. Cindervine. Coil out. I don't really like all these wild growth walkers. There we go. Werner Heisenberg with the sub. Thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate that, Werner. No, I don't play any other PC games. This is this is it here. MTG. Hawkeye camera. Yeah, so got rid of the lava coil, got rid of the wild growth walker. Alright, we're at six subscribers on the day. Oh, this hand doesn't look so good. It could be... Could be better. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, though. Don't don't think we need it, like a wonderful hand in this matchup. And against like the Disinformation Campaign and Thought Erasure deck, uh, I really don't like Bulliganing, so... Uh, like, their hand's, you know, gonna be... Or, like, their deck is just really slow, so it's, it's not like we need a fast hand. But we had two lands with a branch walker, and we're on the draw. That could be better. Things could have worked out better for us. Let's not find a land in the first four and then have turn three Thief of Sanity. Things certainly could have been better.
All right, we got to land. Time to start playing some angels, get some blockers. Ritual of Set? Ah. The Thief of Sanity Ritual of Set combo deck. Classic. Getting the search for his Kanta out of here. That card's too good. According to some studies, cats believe they own the place they're in and you're merely to toler tolerated for the food and the cuddles you provide. Hmm. I kind of want to play this branch walker. But I'm worried that... Yeah. I w but also I want to get more defense for Thief of Sanity. I like both Mardu and Esper. I think Esper is better against control, Mardu is better against aggro. But I like them both. I was, you know, pretty pleased with that uh, Esper deck we played. According to other studies, cats are nice and enjoy spending time with humans. Stop! Opponent, just stop. All these Eldritch Reborns. So they can get... Yeah, there's nothing like spectacular for them to get with Elders Reborn here. Which I wanted to kind of keep it that way. Because I... Like, I, I can't discard these Vivians. Because I can't allow them to get Vivian. And I, I don't want my opponent to get an Aurelia either. So they just have to have Contempt here, right? Oh, Dream Eater? Dream Eater. So they bounce Shalai. Then we replay Shalai. I. Hmm. So I could shock in and have Vivian kill Dream Eater, but then we're dead to any removal spell. We're still dead to any removal spell either way. Yeah, removal spell, we're dead either way. Hmm. I guess I, I oh no, so I, I cannot, I cannot play Vivian. That's just not even an option. If I Vivian kill the Dream Eater, they just get it back with Eldritch Reborn. That's just not even an option.
Do they really just surveil four with Dream Eater and not have a single removal spell? Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Wow. They went Surveil 4 with Dream Eater? But they, they kept cards on top. I don't think they put four cards in the graveyard. I am really shocked we won both of those games. Both those games I thought we were going to lose. But we just kind of won. just get back the second Eldest Reborn? How, how do they get back the Eldest Second Reborn? I, I don't think they can do that. Eldest Reborn does not return Eldest Reborn, if that's what you're thinking. So I don't think that was an option. Is it Drake's? Or is it something else? Hey, we've got another supporter here. Uh, I'm going to go with Chris. Welcome to the stream, Chris. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think Thieva Sanity could be put in Esper Angel sideboard. Absolutely. There's a, a few cards in that sideboard that I, I'm not in love with. And... Uh, yeah, Esper Angels, or sorry, uh, Esper Angels, yeah, could certainly use the Thief of Sandy, so yeah. Spell Pierce. Rude. Stop having crackling drakes. That card's too good. Alright, Lyra. Go do your thing. Mardu Angels is really good. Been watching for a few weeks now and learned a lot. Thought you deserved a sub. Well, thank you so much, Chris. That was very nice of you. Alright, basically gotta find a, another Lava Coil. Really, it does not block a 6-4 very well. No, I don't I don't really enjoy best of one format, no. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with this Lyra. I guess it doesn't save me. Her hand was really good. I'll, I'll probably do some ranked best of three at some points. Alright, bring in these bindings for some extra removal for us. Settle is probably not so bad there as well. Um... And then coming on out, um, Aurelia and Shalai don't don't block too well, especially Shalai getting lava coiled is kind of tough. Uh, go ahead and trim there. 
Maybe I take out Aurelia as well. <laughs> Aurelia, though, the good part about Aurelia is it is it helps the small creatures get through. I don't have to play all these Rhythm of the Wilds. In fact, I can just cut that card completely. Um, yeah, I can do that. Scrabbling Claws tears Drake's apart? No, I just, Scrabbling Claws would have done absolutely zero things that game. Because Crackling Drake counts Exile also, so even if we would have exiled their whole graveyard, but it counted Exile as well. I'm pretty new to MTG, so I apologize for the dumb question, but where did the name like Abzan, Naya, all that kind of stuff come from? Okay, yeah, that's just... it's Those names refer to the, diff the color combination. That's like the first word in all these is always like the, the colors that the deck is. And those some of those names, five, like there's, uh, as you know, like there are 10 guilds um, with the two color combinations. There's also 10 um, shards. Well, there are also 10 three color combinations uh, in magic. And five of them are called shards and five of them are called wedges. I don't really know why that is. Well, I know why the shards are. They're from a, a block from the Alara block around 10 years ago now. Um, and there was, a, there was a set called Shards of Alara, just like there's a set called Guilds of Ravnica. Same kind of thing there. And uh, I guess, or the other one just called Karns, or Khans maybe? Because there's, then the other, the others come from Tarkir, uh, and there's a, ta there's a Khans of Tarkir. Really wish my opponent didn't have that lava coil immediately. The wedges are from the shape they make from the color wheel on the back of an MTG card. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Bant is, <clears throat> is one of those shards. Bant is uh, blue, white, and green. So basically all those made up words are, are three color combinations. <laughs> Cons of Todd Kier. So all the decks that I play, whenever I have the decks listed, I always have the, like I have like a weird first word in all those, and that's always referring to the colors. It doesn't refer to anything in the in anything in the deck as far as cards go. The actual cards in the deck could be anything, but those are just the color combination. So just because it says like Esper, for example, that does not mean it's a control deck. You can have anything there. Yeah, so it's just kind of like shorthand of saying, yeah, like that kind of stuff, like saying white, red, green. You know, right now we're playing white, red, green angels. And, you know, it's easier to say Naya. Abzan is green, white, black. Did I have a, a free attack with the Wild Growth Walker there? Well, I mean, they're just going to block. Our opponent's certainly not, not blocking. Like, they're certainly blocking.
Hey, track team. Uh, Kalu King, thanks for the kind words. Day's going pretty good. Yeah, we're we're playing tons of Angels decks today, and I've been really enjoying them. So, um, yeah, it's been a good day. So, yeah, Abs and Angels, I think, should be pretty good. You know, we have, like, this Explore package and the Angels, and especially Seraph for the Scales in there also. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty good. I kind of wanted more find finality in my, my Abs and Angel deck than what I have, but it's also hard to play all... Every fight makes me stronger. <laughs> Get that out of here. So five. So th yeah, they cannot grow the Terramander yet. Esper's, Esper felt pretty good. Honestly. Yeah, Esper... Esper felt pretty good. It's it feels like it's a lot better against control than some of the other versions. Just realized that Hawkeye wasn't on screen enough. Um anything else? No? No, it really is good. I like Aurelia. Aurelia is like, you know, not so good against, you know, Chupacabra and Vivian and, you know, just kind of like the other angels, but. Hmm. Aurelia is the kind of card that can help our, um, help our small explore creatures get through drakes like this. <laughs> yeah, he's hanging out. Nah, Hawkeye loves me. He's not plotting my death. Wild Growth Walker. Lightning Strike? Nope. <laughs> These games just kind of all look the same. got forces with the sub. Welcome to the stream, forces. So I went ahead and used the Lava Coral there, because I really want a binding uh, the other Drake. Dang it, they had this Drake. Well, got punished. Yeah, Abzan Aggro is not the best Angels deck. I think we can conclude that. <laughs> uh, do you splash for red? Question is, do you splash red for Aurelia and Lava in your Angel deck? Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been happy with them in Mardu Angels. I've been really happy with Lava Coil and Aurelia there, and with Deafening Clarion in the sideboard. Oh, he moved? Okay. I can move this back now. So it looks like our opponent was scared of Settle the Wreckage. Hmm. 
Binding hit for six or Aurelia. So yeah, even if they have a Crackling Drake... That's all the, uh... What all would have happened there. You know, like they would have had to dive down for it. Man. Getting punished for not using the Ixalan's Binding instead of Lava Coil on turn 4. With our opponent just having... Two other Enigma Drakes. Well, yeah, I mean, they can have an answer to Ixalan's Binding, but Ixalan's Binding is still definitely worth it for this matchup, even though it Dive Down is really good against it. The problem is Aurelia does not block well uh, in this matchup. This is not a good blocking match for Aurelia. Hopefully we draw Lyra or like a Jade Light Ranger to gain some life, or a removal spell. Kind of any of those things. Oh, I guess I have to block. Yeah, wait. No. No, I do not have to block. I'm not taking lethal. I'm taking 12. But we can reset our life total with Angel Grace. Or, you know, draw Lyra, which would be the best thing possible. Um, hmm. Tough spot, tough spot. If I play Br Branch Walker, I'm dead. Yeah, sir. All Angel Thursday. Also dead to that entrancing melody, though. So the biggest reason why we lost that is deciding to, you know, like my decision to use Lava Coil instead of Binding on turn four cost us that game. If I use Binding, you know, it's just something that we don't know. But if I use, if I use Binding, um, they had two other Enigma Drakes that they drew instead of Crackling Drakes, and they would not have been able to cast those um, other two Enigma Drakes, and I think we win from there. No, you cannot exile Angel of Grace at the same time to save yourself. You have to do it before damage would happen, and so you can just go to 10 life, but uh, our opponent's still attacking for more than 10, so cannot save ourselves there. The most, rec the most recent deck on Stream Decker is the, is the current one. Yeah, DD was donation deck. Our plan here today was to play Mardu Angels also, uh, but then we had a, a skip the line donation for Abzan Aggro and played that. Just guy control, huh? Hey, Claus, good afternoon. I don't think we're going to have time for Mardu Angels. Unless unless you expect us just to lose a bunch of matches right away. But, but assuming, like if, I guess we'll see. If Naya wins a bunch and, and Abzan wins a bunch, we won't. But yeah, we'll see. 
it kind of looks like it, it looks like it like last time you know it was like six o'clock instead of seven and we were in the third deck and it was like oh we'll probably have time for a fifth deck but nah did not have time for a fifth deck it still went to ten so what's our opponent doing over there not playing any lands I think they're on a mulligan to five. Yeah, thanks, Matthew. Yeah, so, yeah, 1,500 YouTube subscribers. We're doing a 12-hour stream, so we're at 1,261 right now. Okay, so we're getting there. So, yeah, go follow along on YouTube if you miss any of any of the decks. You can see the replays. Like, Abzan Aggro from earlier is already up there. I've lost so much meat, uh, my newest friend. Esper Angels has, like, 20 minutes left. But it's getting there. The Bant value deck didn't do as well as I would hoped. Um, no one knows the wilds like I. I feel do. like Militia Bugler is not really where you want to be. I, I don't think it, it. It didn't seem to compete too well against Sultai. Time to attack. Man, if you give Wildgrowth Walker and Jaylight Ranger haste, they were already pretty good. But them having haste and being uncounterable. The best two-color angel is Seraph of the Scales, in my opinion. I think Seraph and Aurelia are the only two two-color angels. Unless you count Shalai. But I think Seraph of the Scales is probably the best of those. Alright, Jeskai, let's get Cinder Vines. I mean, basically, we played against Control a decent amount. Our first couple matchups were... We know our sideboard... Doing that. No, not you. Angel of Grace. Get back in here. Alright, so wait. That's 57? What, have, what else did I play? Play Binding or Lyra? Shalai is very good against Burn. It is, yeah, it is awesome there. Yeah, it is absolutely awesome there. <laughs> Modern Angels? That'd be pretty tough. There's not... Yeah, it'd be pretty tough to play Angels in Modern. Um, but... It's, it's a, I've certainly played Modern Angels, though, before with, like... You know, you just have your mana creatures, you have your three drops, and then Eldritch Evolution that helps you get to them also. Like, you can Evolution three drops into your five mana Angels. And then you have like your various angels that uh, are just awesome, like Sigarda and Shalai and all that kind of stuff. Archangel of Thune, Archangel Avicen. Where's our red mana? Mass manipulation? Oh, yeah, T Tiana. Forgot about Tiana.
Our opponent should absolutely be countering that. With that absorb. I know they have the lava coil for it. But that that should abs absolutely get absorbed. Trying to adapt Naya value list for best of one. Nice. I I don't play I don't play best of one, so I don't have like too much knowledge about the format because I really do consider it a different format than regular standard. Um, I really do. So. So they are looking to cleansing Nova. I think it's still just worth it to play Branchwalker though and just look for a red source. That's fine. It's better than a random card. No land. Ooh. Tapped land. Rampage! Getting that Twitch Prime sub in. Welcome to the stream. Thanks, Rampage. That's sub number nine on the day. One more, and we're cracking open a pack. Alright, just turn to 30. And Ragnarok. Also getting that Twitch Prime value in. Welcome, Ragnarok. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. And thank you for the support, getting us down to under 30 subs till our next 12 hour stream. And 10 on the day. Alright, I'm going to do a poll in the chat for what pack to crack open after this. M19, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, or Ixalan. Got 60 seconds. Which then our, our game just ended. So, kind of wish I didn't do 60 second pull. So what's our record? 3 and 1? 3 and 1. Not bad. We've been doing pretty good against control. Uh, we didn't get to rhythm of the wild our opponent that time, but they just had didn't have a whole lot going on. Poor Ixalan and rivals of Ixalan, you don't get any uh, any other like special buy a box card with them. All right, 15 seconds. It looks like it's going to be Dominaria. Oh, Rivals of Ixalan. Squeaking out. Winning by one. All right. Rivals of Ixalan. This is the set that I need the most of. Path of Metal. Hey, that's a really good open. Yeah, that's a that's certainly a, a good standard playable card. Good card to build around. Nice. Good open. Yeah, good good voting, everybody. Hey, Maskelar. I think we can get that five one. So we we gotta win this one so we can get to so we can at least get to the final boss. Yeah, Rivals of Ixalan is a good set. I've liked basically like all the sets like since Ixalan. I really liked so standards in a good spot. Like these sets are really well designed these days. This game, it does not give you a percentage of each set you own, but you can fi you can find that by using a, a a third party tracker. A lot of people really like 
Um, I think the MTG MTGA Pro Tracker. I've heard lots of really good stuff about that. All right, Koala Bear getting that sub in on Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Koala Bear. I like get some hype in the channel. Uh, I'm just going to coil that. I don't know. That's that's honestly probably a bad coil. Because they could play Thief of Sanity here that I'd rather coil. Yeah, I should just play the Wild Growth Walker, I think. Okay, that's, that's fine with me. Yeah, corsets are always just kind of like that, though. Corsets are not... Corsets are just kind of built to help make standard better uh, kind of thing and just have, like, a hodgepodge of cards. But, yeah, so M19's not the best. But that's just kind of how corsets are. There are some good mythics in the set, for sure. Yeah, that song's great. David Bowie was incredible. For what was the there was a movie, um, The Life Aquatic, that used like this album as their uh, soundtrack, but it was sung by somebody in Portuguese. And it was like it was like acoustic Portuguese, and he did just a an absolutely amazing job. The soundtrack is just so beautiful. It's so good. Your team Zisu, yeah, yeah. That that movie is is really good. That's a great movie. Um, but if you if you like David Bowie, I'd really recommend checking that out. Uh, I mean, what's what's the point of this attack here? Oh. Death touch! Death touch! Stop blocking! That's the point. Death touch. Woo! That was a close one. Close call there. Alright, am I Angel of Gracing it up? Go Vivian, kill the Seraph. They get two one ones. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Goose Claws. Wait, do you have to be a follower to talk in here? I thought I I I didn't think I had that set up. I thought anybody could chat in here. Hmm. But yeah, you're right. The Life Aquatic is is a great movie with a wonderful soundtrack. You had to follow the chat? Hmm. Not exactly sure why that is. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. I thought I had that set up in the settings, or it's not like that. Merc Viper, resubbing for the third month in a row. Thanks, Merc Viper. You think tick up? Like, I, I kill Sarah for the scales, they like swarm and attack it. I kind of like tick up also. Balance comes. I'm gonna take the Jade Light that can grow this Wild Growth Walker into being a real card. All right, second Vivian down. So 
So whatever the cards are that they're surveilling, they're keeping on top. They're not really surveilling stuff to the graveyard, so... Whatever that card is, they like it. Scars are lessons written in skin. So I think Lyra Dawnbringer is like my card that I want to find the most. Well, that was easy. You can't stop nature. I guess it's probably Lava Coil. More like it. Um, let's take that. Deafening Clarion's in the sideboard. Yeah, have some of those in the sideboard. Can't decide between Grixis and Jeskai control for tomorrow. Heart says Grixis, Brain says Jeskai. Yeah, I think Jeskai. Um, I think there's just too many enchantments these days for Grixis. Yeah, I have followers only mode turned off, is what it says. In my settings. That's weird. Hmm. Every defeat is a new beginning. So they can block with Sarah of the Scales and give Death Touch. I think I'm going to go Jade Light plus Wild Growth plus Jade Light here. The problem is I can't, um, I can't block like my really I can't block the Sarah of the Scales like with the Death Touch and have them trade. I got my new PC now. I can watch Todd while playing this awesome game. Awesome Heretic man. That's really cool. The soundtrack we're talking about was the the Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. That's the name of the movie. There's our lands. We just find a, lo a lava coil, get rid of the deputy det detention, that would be nice. Uh oh. Now that's a huge problem. That's a huge problem. Right, I forgot about that whole thing. Oh, I should have done that before. No, I couldn't have done that before. I couldn't have, I couldn't have last turn gone Branch Walker and Resplendent Angel and gained enough life. Yeah, I, for, I forgot about that. The gaining life with Wild Growth Walker and then Resplendent, get your, get your other angel. 
Texas Walker Ranger. Because people are boring with the deck names. Yeah, Rhythm would make our, yeah, our, our Angel a... Or make the Resplendent Angel a 6-6, six, six, yes. Yeah, we, we could make Resplendent Angel a 6-6 six, six with Rhythm of the Wild. But I'd rather just kind of dig for something else. I guess both of our... Both of our Vivians are gone, so I, I don't have another answer to Lyra Dawnbringer here in the main deck. So I, I don't really know what I'm going to do about this Lyra Dawnbringer. Besides just have to get my own Lyra Dawnbringer. It's kind of about the only thing. I need to start attacking with these Wild Growth Walkers now. This game's gonna take a while. My opponent knows about the Angel of Grace. Like they, they know about all the stuff that we have. All right, where's another lava coil? We've seen one so far. So if I get three more lands, I can double activate Resplendent Angel. It's a lot more lands. I wouldn't mind Arch of Araska. That'd be a good land to draw. If we're gonna draw a land. Oh yeah, we can certainly win this game. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, we can certainly win this game. I think it's going to be easier for us to find a way to win this game than it is for our opponent. Rhythm's good. Make our creatures bigger. Stop. Because Deputy, I mean, Deputy's really good at getting rid of some cards for her a little bit. But, you know, once we find a Lava Coil and start, you know, we find removal, get our creatures back. Do not have any Immortal Sun in the main deck here. Alright, we need two more lands to double activate Resplendent Angel now. Oh yeah, Clarion is amazing in this matchup, yeah. This is a really good Clarion matchup. For after sideboarding, we don't have those main deck. Oh yeah, we have Shalai also. Shalai can pump our creatures up a bunch. Is our, our opponent just can't attack though. They don't have a good attack. As long as Resplendent Angel's on the battlefield. 
Okay. So I can make this a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hey, welcome back, empty ner nerd girl. We have a crazy game going on here. Like our opponent took like when our opponent took these Angel of Graces, honestly the one resplendent angel was more valuable than the two Angel of Graces. Like if I was just sitting here with Angel of Graces still, I couldn't I couldn't win that. Okay, let's get these Clarions in. Those will be good. I don't think they have many answers to binding. I know they have dispersal. Um, get another Vivian. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna do fine. So I found out. So I guess your your format's a little different. So we're gonna have to, um, you know, we won't be able to play just like normal standard. It's gonna be a little different because you're, you're basically gonna be doing best of one. Uh, for the huge event, but yeah, absolutely. Congrats on getting getting into that mythic event. That's that's so cool that you got in there. That's that's so cool. Um, rhythm can go. They do play four mortify. They were killing all my stuff with mortify. Great point. Completely forgot about mortify. All right, binding you're out here. Never mind. I'm off that Exxon's binding now. Uh, now what? This is 61. I kind of like all these cards. Maybe Angel of Grace? Well, it's a it's a good hope to have. I'll get you there. No, or deputy can. Oh, I guess it can take it enchantments, can't it? Yeah, it, it yeah it could take enchantments. All right, so yeah, Ixalan's binding is just I'm just completely off of it. Slow that on down. So are you streaming tonight, MT MTG Nerd Girl? I should just start saying Nerd Girl. It's hard to say the MTG before all that. Well, it's really I just tried to talk too quickly. Bleh. No green mana. Nobody knows what it's like to not have green mana. Hostage taker. Looks like I need a deafening clarion on that thing. Give me my Shalai back. Rude opponent. <laughs> Alright, that one's not as bad. Because they can't just re recash Shalai. So that one's not as bad.
Yeah, I I thought there was like a zero percent chance my opponent would have to spell Pierce, but it's true I did not play around it. I have another Shalai, so I don't think I need to just, like... I don't think I need to just coil that deputy. I think I can save a coil for something else. Aha! Saved our coil for something else. And then, yeah, that's what Sten said in, in the chat. Also, coil for a Seraph would be better. And there we go, we had coil for a Seraph. So smart. Yeah, it's the, the thing I'm most disappointed about Really, the yeah, like that's the thing that I'm most disappointed about with the announcement is the format of just playing best of one. Yeah, so they like try to pretend like it's a best of three because you can play best of one multiple times, but they say you can just submit the same deck, so you can just play two of the same deck. Discard. Discard the Jade Light. That's a really well-timed Bell Hunt. <clears throat> Would you like to see what's left of us? No one knows the wilds like I do. And that was even a better timed Vivian. I kind of want to just take the land and play the land here. Um... Yeah, there's no sideboarding in the Invitational. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of want to just take the land. That'll be my seventh land. No, we'll take Jade Light. Because basically the reason why I want to take land is because of Arch of Araska. Because I want to like you know just get the to ascend, get the ten permits out there, and have like the mana to be able to activate Archer Roska, play other things like that kind of stuff. So Archer Roska would be the reason why I would want to uh, take the land. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? All right, take a Vivian first. Meet. My newest friend. That's a great one. So yeah, I'll just have I'll just chump block the bell hunt with the jade light. All right, Matthew, it's enough. You can have the complaint somewhere else besides my Twitch chat channel. Balance comes. Um I guess we're just doing the same thing again. Even though activating a Resplendent Angel would be nice, but just getting another Resplendent Angel in play 
and a Jade Light Ranger. My favorite dinner meal? That's tough. I kind of like everything. Hey, Key. Yeah, feeling better. You know, sometimes you just you know, need like a little day of resting, and so yesterday was a a good day. Just you know, day relaxing and everything. Um. But yeah, I I'm the kind of person that really likes food, and I I kind of appreciate like all sorts of different foods, and so I don't really have like a a favorite or like a go-to really or anything like that. Come to me. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, and three. I guess they're not going to be having Cleansing Nova when they're playing Deputy at Detention, so I guess I, I shouldn't have to worry about a Sweeper. They could certainly have settled the wreckage. Settle wreckage is, is certainly an option. The problem is, I mean, it's not a problem, but if I if I only attack with one angel, then I'm not getting enough life to trigger it. I think where I'm at in this game with these Vivians and with like the Arch of Araska, I think I'm absolutely fine with two creatures getting settled. Because we get like extra lands out to be able to activate Archer Roska too. We have the Vivian still going. It's not like I think it's a small, a very like I think it's a small chance that our opponent even has settle in their deck. And so even if they did, like worst case scenario, we're still doing good. So I think it's just fine to attack there. All right, another win. Oh, was this the final boss? Oh no, now we're at four and one. I just had the wrong. Yeah, we were three and one before. I just hit the the wrong number there. Um. Okay. All right, final boss time. <laughs> I've played this game a lot. <laughs> That's why. All right, the place we were made to those who fight further. Let's go. Let's get that five win. We only have Mitch standing in our way. Double elimination format for a specific number of people. It certainly makes sense to me. Yeah, it does not need to be one and done with that small of a group, that's for sure. Dun, 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 dun. So it looks like Esper Control, Watery Grave, and Teferi. I'm honestly not sure which one's the best Angel deck. Kind of still doing, doing just fine with all of them. Get out of here. I kind of like them all. Just logged in. I'm pumped for the final boss. There you go, Aaron.
I think it's worth it to get the Rhythm of the Wild on the battlefield to get counters on our stuff. So, next turn I'm planning on, I can like, flash in Angel of Grace and block the Jade Light Ranger. Oh no. Life has gotten worse. I mean, I can still do that. So Angel of Grace is a 6-5 with Rhythm of the Wild. Just to have my creature be an attacker was probably better for me. Oh, I can't do both Jade Light and Wild Growth? Oh, I don't have three green. Uh. Huh. Alright, I guess we're waiting. No removal. No, I wouldn't have had lethal if I went haste because they wouldn't it wouldn't have been a six five if I went haste. It would just be a five four haste. Dang it, they had removal. No, it's still it's still not lethal with lava coil. Again, it's to five four haste. Dang. Huh. So I want Clarion here. That Hedonis climb is rough. Yeah, settle good. No, I'm not going to play like Cinder Vines for it or Knights. I mean, Hedonis Climb is like a probably a 3 of in their deck. If they don't if they don't have it, then my Cinder Vines or Knights are going to do nothing. So, I'm not going to have like something like that. I'll have Ixalan's binding here. But as we saw like that turn, like they just played Hedonis Hedonis Climb and just flipped it immediately. So, it's it's not even that that likely that I kill it. And plus we have Vivian also. I don't think I need a third Vivian. I gotta cut one card from here. 
And I'm not sure which. No, wild growth is certainly good. I think Shalai. Don't think Shalai blocks very well. Seem to have a lot of four fours like growth. Growth Chamber Guardian, Zagana, stuff like that. No, Spyglass is another just narrow card. Um, and they came to Hostage Taker, Spyglass, take it, make, make me not be able to use my Vivian Reed. I think playing the I think playing the rhythm of the wild on turn four instead of playing um in, instead of playing Shalai ended up ended up being a, a bad choice for me. I really like Resplendent Angel myself. It's incredibly powerful. with a really good hand yet again. So you really have blocks a little better than uh, Shalai. Shalai wouldn't really be able to handle that Jade Light. Yeah, good hand. I don't think I brought in Deafening Clarion. In fact, I know I didn't. Yeah, that's incredible. Uh, final bosses are tough. Really wish I had some Deafening Clarions in. But of course, if they were in instead of Ixalan's Binding, I wasn't going to be uh, winning that anyway because I didn't draw Ixalan's Binding. Well, I guess I scryed a Binding to the bottom. But All right, four and two. Uh, 1,700 gold, 20 gems, and an Inferno Reckoning. Infernal Reckoning. Cool. So, yeah, Naya doesn't have... So Naya's going to be better against aggro. Uh, I thought the Rhythm of the Wild was, was okay. I think that where Naya, Naya is going to kind of struggle in the mid-range matchups, I think. Um, like against Sultai, I, th I think it may be a little worse than the other Angel decks in that matchup. Maybe not. I don't know. You have Vivian, which is awesome. But but there we go. There's Naya. Our other angel deck for tonight is going to be very similar with uh, Seraph of the Scales, which is you know just a great card. A little bit different removal where we have Mortify and we have Find Finality. So sorry, Abzan deck. So if you're watching that Naya Angels. Over on YouTube, don't forget to click on over to this one so you can see some abs and angels up next. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.